High youth unemployment, the riots of 2011 and negative press coverage all have combined to give young people a bad name and affect the public's perceptions of youth in general. However, another picture is emerging, as our Young People Friendly Neighbourhoods project demonstrates. The Young People Friendly Neighbourhoods project, or YPFN as it's known, was established by the Department of Education to give 11 to 19 year olds the opportunity to shape and run youth projects with local residents in their area. It's somewhere you can just chill out and you've got loads of like stuff to do here so if you get bored you won't get bored and even if you do you've got people here to help you get more engaged. Housing associations working in partnership with Groundwork, FPM Youth Work Specialists and Youth Access have been delivering the YPFN project in 20 different areas across England where youth nuisance and antisocial behaviour have been identified as significant issues. Of these 20 areas, Sanctuary Housing has been the lead housing partner within seven nominated locations. Scarborough, Stoke-on-Trent, Reading, Leicester, Hackney and two projects in Torbay. As you would expect, each neighbourhood has been faced with their own distinct challenges, calling for local solutions. And it's been the involvement of young people in the management, design and delivery of youth projects within each area that has cemented the project's success. In Scarborough, a brand new BMX track on the Barrowcliff Estate has become an important draw for young people, providing a track open day, bike repair sessions and workshops on healthy living and food hygiene. Once a week here, but uh, football's on every Thursday night, so is the youth club. Gets, gets you off the street doing stuff there, learning stuff. In Stoke, an abandoned outdoor space has been turned into a hub of thriving activity, where young people are welcome to attend four sports sessions a week helping to strengthen relationships with their peers. In Hackney, as a result of focusing on young people's development and giving them an opportunity to shape their own community, one group has produced a short film about volunteering and giving back to the community. This has encouraged others to sign up for personal development training to help them contribute to local youth activities. In Leicester, a statewide consultation by young people has taken place to identify areas for improvement that will benefit all estate users and this has been integrated into the community's vision for the area. Positive outcomes have included Christmas tree planting, a Halloween party and arts, crafts and games nights. In Reading, a structured regular youth club providing activities and project work has helped young people to strengthen their relationships while a Skids Motor Mechanic course has sufficiently engaged young people to increase school attendance. It made quite a bit of difference because I'm working, uh, I'm learning car mechanics at college and I want to learn bike mechanics because I'm more into my bikes. In Torbay, a combination of initiatives including maintaining quad bikes, attending football sessions and building relationships at the Rock Youth Cafe has seen all the young people involved accessing guidance, advice and support on training, employment and education opportunities. At the uh, Totally Teens, it's all different activities that gets us off the streets and here is something else to do after college and get another qualification out of it. To ensure the project's legacy continues, Sanctuary is now supporting these neighbourhoods by putting in place sustainable models of delivery. This includes the development of youth and community mutuals in areas like Torbay. Well the benefits are untold really because without this and without the community involvement they wouldn't have um, these drop-in sessions at all and the feedback that we have from young people all the time is that they are so let down that you know uh, things are set up and then taken away um, the funding stops so obviously with these projects and the community involvement the long-term uh, sustainability looks good. The success of the Young People Friendly Neighbourhoods project is there for all to see. As well as impressive results, it has identified a number of important criteria for taking youth initiatives further. Firstly, it's important to acknowledge that young people's issues can be complex and that youth work needs to be carried out by specialist, trained and committed personnel. Secondly, young people themselves can take a lead in planning and delivering initiatives ensuring an increase in activities that can be used to support training, employment and education opportunities. Thirdly, it's essential to involve the wider community in solutions, 
helping to change the attitudes and perceptions of young people and members of their community alike. My passion is, is that the youth are the future, so if they're involved in their community very much right from the beginning, and working with the community and everybody in the community, it means that they feel that they're part of it. Fourthly, housing associations are well placed to broker solutions between all parties involved, bringing together young people, members of the wider community, professional youth workers and adults working on providing youth activities. When we started it was just us. We've got the backing from the community centre, the school, churches, I'm not walking masks. Unfortunately, austerity measures continue to bite and we need to find ways of ensuring that we continue to support our young people in these uncertain economic times. This means finding new, cost-effective ways of initiating and sustaining youth services. The Young People Friendly Neighbourhoods project has helped prove that a youth and community-led approach provides an effective solution to this dilemma. The national programme has given us the opportunity and the resources to really put um, a substantial amount of time and effort into that and build on partnerships and build on the work that's being done within the community. If there is one lesson to be learned, it's this. By listening to young people, we find they are a greater part of the solution than we ever imagined.